This is Solid Snake, and you're listening to Three Black Geeks. So pay some damn attention. Guys, 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 guys. Did you ever see? You know what, Eris? You, you have a good point. Every episode we do a 3BG, there's a Metal Gear Solid reference. There's a Metal Gear Solid reference. And there's a Metal Gear reference in this movie. And D brought it up earlier. It's the idea of soldiers being betrayed by their country and not being yeah. Yeah, yes. You know. What we, what, what, let me, what, okay, you are referring to, uh, holy crap <laughs> disillusioned brigadier general francis hummel yes uh yes. also like also known like also known as uh jack or john or snake from belgium solid three who then be I mean, who then becomes big boss yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. my man won like, listen he got he got the purple heart and decided to just say hey you know what i gave the salute to my family my wife hey, please hey. please hold up please do not shame me for what I'm about to do. They still haven't seen the big picture. I gotta show them. I think I had to sit in the White House as the president and the chief of staff was yucking it up. He was like, I had to kill my fucking mentor. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and then you got the nerve you know, to say that. And then you got the nerve to say that we could use a unit like Fox in the Army. Somebody then, like him. <laughs> and then I look over your shoulder. And then I look over your shoulder, and a Russian operative is outside the window. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're talking about the Michael Bay movie The Rock. Uh, came out in 1996. Rock. I actually did. 1996. I actually saw this movie in theaters, and let me tell you something. Not. As as a middle school kid, I enjoyed the fuck out of this movie. You know what? Woo. This this is that golden time uh, of the '90s where action packed was a real fucking thing. There was a lot of blockbusters, and Michael Bay was the perfect person made for this ish. You know what I mean? There were just certain pe- just certain directors that knew what they fuck to do. This is Michael Bay's. Actually, this is technically well. Bad Boys came before that. I'm about to say, but, he coming off yeah, of Bad Boys. Yeah, he's coming off of Bad Boys. So, Michael Bay, is, this is his first rodeo. And on top of that, the word Don Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer Productions that is before this shit. And let me tell you something. Jerry Bruckheimer to this day is still a fucking powerhouse. And we don't talk about Jerry Bruckheimer a lot. You know why? Because he ain't silver. But the point is this. The point is silver. No, 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 no D, D. No, see, you did it wrong. We don't talk about him much because he ain't, you know. <laughs> no, I said silver minus the coke. I mean, he ain't fucking with my, he ain't fucking with my nigga Joel, man. Or he you ain't know. the no, no. He's not the bump. <laughs> now, now, got now, folks. <laughs> Joel the bump silver. <laughs> I got now, folks. Um, you might be asking yourself, <laughs> what is the rock? That is oh. now his nick. That is now his name. We will now title him that. But go ahead. Now this uh, he does this like you know, he does this move a lot. But they do that a lot. There's like a there's like a line right there. That- <laughs> Guys, I can assure you. I can assure. I can assure you. If we ever interview Joel Silver and during the interview he does this. I'm gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna excuse myself, Eric. You take over. I'm gonna be fucking dying laughing off camera. When he I'm, like, that shit. I'm like, Chris, you can't do that, man. I'm holding the camera. Here's me, here's me. You know what? No, 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 no. Here's me. All right, Mr. Silver. It's time for some comedy. Hi, I'm D. I'm D Sharp, the three black geeks. Uh I usually do the video, do, do the interviews and all that shit. I'm usually doing direction. Uh, I have to come in this interview for one second. Do you know that we talk about you a lot? Oh, yes, sir, we do. <laughs> Do, did you at every time have a coke habit? Why you ask that? No, 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 no. no. Keep it real, man. We we three black geeks. We don't give a fuck. We know what Hollywood is, dog. Did you? Did you like? Yeah, I did it a couple times. Ah! No, no, no. <laughs> if, you, no okay. if he, if he question, said did it a couple times, that's all we need. That's all. No, no, no. D, here's what you do. Here's what you do. He says that. He says that. Right. So he he says, okay, maybe once or twice. I at that point you're like Eris roll the clip. I break out the iPad, <laughs> and it, it it is just a, a compilation of every time we mentioned Joel doing coke. <laughs> now now there's two now there are there are two different viewpoints of this movie. So I'm gonna give you the one viewpoint, which is the official 
whole premise of the movie. The premise of the movie is uh, Dishaloo's in general, Francis X, um, basically commandeers uh, some... Um, no, during this was, yeah, I'm sorry, Francis Hummel. Yeah, Francis Hummel. He uh, commandeers some uh, gas-loaded rockets in order to basically threaten to shoot the rockets in San Francisco in order for the U.S. government to basically compensate his men for the black ops missions they died on that they weren't compensated on because if you know how the government operates if you're on black ops missions well it is is what it is and you get whatever funding that you get from the government when you die and that's it i'm sorry outer heaven outer heaven but no i was just i was just going to ask i'm sorry where have we heard this sounds very familiar very very familiar very call of duty-esque you no, know, no, 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 you know what, no, you know what, I'm Metal just going to say, Harris, you know what, it, I'm thinking of, of a, of a, of a bigness, of a shell, some type of situation. Are you sure? I'm thinking, I'm thinking of someplace very cold. Big shell. Uh, really? Big shell. No, 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 I'm thinking of a place that's really cold. It's centered around this place called the Bering Sea. Hmm. Might be Alaska. Might be. I don't know. Maybe. Might be. Maybe. Maybe. It just I'm might also be. thinking, you know what I'm also thinking? I'm thinking Africa, mm. and I'm thinking somewhere southern, so south mm. of Africa, right, middle of the jungle, maybe. And they're gonna take that and make it outer heaven and attack it. You know, maybe that too. I think maybe it starts. I think it also starts with a Z. Zan, Zinni, Z, Z, Zimbabwe, Zinni, something Zimbabwe. land. It something. might be Z. Like yeah, something, something like land. That. I, I, something I, like that, nigga. I, I know, know the one thing that I know the one thing that it you know this would be the dumbest idea ever is putting a bipedal robot in there and making that like the final boss or something. That would just be stupid. Joe White Line Silver. God damn it. I think we said that. <laughs> oh, that put my, that put my thing because I was about to make something no, about to die. Here's the no. thing. The now, point is, now, yeah. now the point is that's that's one plot. Now, ask me as a kid what I thought the plot of the movie is. That's that gas that melts you. <laughs> because how do you start off your movie with okay so it's dangerous gas now if you if you whether it's mustard gas or anything when you're going through basic training and Eris knows this and I know this you gotta go through the whole like oh shit gas you gotta put the mask on you gotta do all that shit right as a general and his men are getting the missiles the missiles have these little cube th these little balls and stuff like that to where if one of them falls down it breaks and you immediately gotta get the fuck out of there well, one of the men gets left behind. Yes. These balls. <laughs> These balls. The green balls. Uh, yeah. One of the men get left down. And I remember as a kid seeing this guy. Yes, that shit. That fucked me up as a kid when I saw that. That <laughs> messed me up hardcore. The terror. The terror in that man's eyes. Ooh. Fucked is the word, actually. <laughs> they ran out that room and it was like, ah, oh, shit, you shouldn't have tripped or fail, dog. Sorry. <laughs> Clock. <Can> I... <laughs> you shouldn't have tripped. Ah, my hands! My hands! I was like, oh, God. <laughs> and the general was like this. You did you, you, you did good, son. <laughs> David Moses like, you sure we gonna, should, should we call like your sister or some shit, nigga? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, just send him some nope. money. We're good. Nah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. send him some money anonymously. Anonymously. Tell him yeah. Lizard Squad did it. Now, now, the money that they're sending is a, it's 1996, so bear with me, folks. $100 million. Now, if this is today, my ass would have been like, billion dollars or get the hell out of my face. <laughs> no, the billion, billion dollars. Do wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. <clears throat> billion dollars and the corpse of, uh, of Abraham Lincoln. Hey, I'm just yes. saying, look, the reason why I'm saying all this, just real talk, real talk. Either you give me that or the Golden State Warriors is not winning another championship <laughs> next year. That's <laughs> all I'm saying. Straight to Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> you give hold me, up. Hold up. You give me that. Hold up. You, give, hold up. Hold you up. give me that. You give me that or Grandpa Simpson will have no choice but to count Missouri. <laughs> as the... <laughs> Yo. Speaking of which, Harris. Speaking of which, Harris. Remember, when they, remember later on. All right, later, on, way later in the movie, they they call their bluff. You know, it was called a little showdown. Money. They called it bluff, and they shot the rocket off. Right when they shot the rocket off, and he changed direction. Here's me. He took that shit right to Oakland. <laughs> oh yes, he did. 
<laughs> Some nigga, out, some homeless, the like, homeless dude like, is like, blew, hey, like, what's that? <laughs> it's like they blew up. It's like they blew up. Where it blew up? Over in Oakland. Yeah, nobody will notice. Like, no one will notice. That's Sunny Bell. Yeah, I'll did, now I'll take did care you, of half those niggers. Now, did you did y'all notice that again? <laughs> When it comes to these heist movies or, or like these these hostile takeover movies, nothing <laughs> says villain. Nothing says villain more than ball bearings. We got him in this movie, and we yep. had him in the movie that we talked about uh, like last time. With uh, please, everybody, go listen to our episode of of Swordfish. It's really now, now, good. and that's the thing about this. It's like the general he says is a hundred million in slush funds, which you might laugh at that, but I'm like, no, I, I feel laugh. That's real. I laugh, but I'm like, I, I feel laugh that's real. for one good I feel reason. That's real. When he did that, it was so funny. He's like, "Who's this?" He like, "Is that?" He's like, "This the um." He's like, "It's the director of the FBI." What did you just say? He was like, "Yeah, all the slush funds is in the Pentagon." He had the surprise look. Here's me. Everybody in the room. Why are any of you like? <gasps> exactly. You are all in the deep this. state. All of you are in the deep state. How are you confused about this? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Dick Cheney getting on the phone with his lawyer during 9-11? Yes! That is suspicious. Nobody but said that, nothing. <laughs> but this right here, like, you mean to tell me that we've been funding terrorists? We're the United States of America. Look, I'll be real with you. Look, I'll be real with you. I don't like America. Because we are the bad guys. Oh my God, we are the bad it's the guys. Second half, it's the second half. Of, it's the second half of Gundam Iron Blood Orphans, where they went from heroes in the first half. The second half, it's like y'all just an organized crime fucking mercenary unit. You're the bad guys. What are we doing here? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold up. It's like D. Why? See, here, Chris. See, because of America, that's why I'm more like Zig Zion. I'm like Zig Zion. I'm... Uh-uh. See, here's the as much as General Hummel and his men are the Zeons, much like the Zeon, there's infighting in the Zeons. And the oh, infight, yeah. oh, yeah. And the infighting oh, in this oh, case, shit. and the infight in this case is one Tony Todd, fucking uh Bokeem Woodbine, and you. and 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 and, and white hick boy that's in every fucking military movie in Hollywood. It was a shit. bunch of them in the 90s. Son, the dude that killed Tony me when Todd I saw an ocelot of this movie. Man, listen. When I saw Tony Todd come out there, like, General, how you doing? Here's me. I'm gonna say it. The best actor in the movie. The best actor in the also, movie is Tony Todd. He's the all-star. The all-star. Tony Todd reminds me of every older black man in the fucking military and it irks me out every time man just the properness no. his voice everything it's like oh that's god what that's why i said that's why i said tony todd i was looking at a pound for pound like pound for pound acting d look at everybody in the movie how would you rank it i was like tony todd then it'll be it that ed harris ed harris. Ed, harris ed harris is the second best in this movie like who's number three is it really sean connery d See, see what I'm where, saying? where do y'all rank? Where do y'all rank? Uh, 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 Hummel, so, Hummel, where do y'all rank Hummel's uh, BFF, his boy, uh, uh, uh Dave, David Morris? David Morris is actually a I like pretty him. decent actor. I, actually like him. I really, actor. I really like him because he yeah, was David like, because it's, it's ironic. He's the general's guy that he's like the Jiminy Crick. Like, come on, man, like, you don't want to. You know, do that. You know, yeah, just like, Jimmy Crick. Come on, I like, know because he's the because out of the everybody voice, there, he's, he's the voice of reason. He's the voice of reason because it's like, look. I ain't in it for the money, but I am in it for the money. But let's not let's be reasonable about this. Like, this, like you don't I, have to kill people. Let's just you know. Chill. You knew it was bad the second, <laughs> the second uh, he said, "I heard about what you guys did over. I heard about what your guys did. I'm glad to be working with you." Here's me. You are going to regret all that. They're going to turn on you. They're going to turn on. Well, well when you have three guys that are hardcore, yo, I didn't get into the military for the money. So fuck you. Where's my money? I love that she's like he's like we like no we are mercenaries. The yep. second we started doing all this, We're we became mercenaries. He's right? I was like, where's my fucking money? I was like, Tony F and Todd. Hey, hey, look, I was like that. I was like that fucking Morgan Freeman thing. Like, he's right, you know. He's right. He's right. We just want the money, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Bro, can you imagine, yo, can you imagine Wait, Morgan Freeman was in that whole thing? 
<laughs> hold on, hold on. What was the name of that movie again? Because we did hard rain. Hard rain. Hard rain. Everybody, we did hard rain. Please listen to that. Go on Spotify on that. Look up hard rain. That is one of our best episodes. <laughs> like, yo, no, you I ain't lying. We really did did. All, all this was missing was we just want the money. <laughs> Now I know what. Now I know what you. Now I know what you're thinking, General. There's all these all, all these hostages out here. Now I won't shoot none of these motherfuckers. But if you fuck with me, I will. <laughs> you know come who on, else? Come on, get your ass up. Get your ass up. You know who I'm gonna shoot this white bitch in the head. <laughs> uh, shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> all the all the like look no you look look I love I love it when Morgan Freeman gets serious because his freckles disappear I love it they do <laughs> hey look look when he says shoot this mother- motherfucker and wanted the whole theater died laughing because I know he was serious when he said that line delivering it when they were filming it but when he does when he says it shoot this motherfucker I was like all of us crying in the theater that <laughs> shit was hilarious because it came clear out of left field he never you said were- anything that threatening before in his life. And like in this, okay. like you know, throughout that movie, it was just that moment. It came clear out of left field, and it had the entire theater erupting with laughter. One of the gang- most gangsterous things I ever heard was, "All right, I heard he's on this. Let me just listen to it." I turn on Savage Mode too. Morgan Freeman starts talking in narration. Mm-hmm. Welcome. To savage mood. I'm like this. This I was gonna be lit in the whole I was, I was like, what how, did, how, did, how did this not win a Grammy? So I did not know. Hard. The best one was at the end of Mini Men. Oh, in, in the end of Mini Men, you hear all uh, Morgan Freeman come over there. He's like, This is the fall of Mini Men. I'm like, oh, oh this is so did, guys, oh, can you imagine? How did this not win a Grammy? Here's my thing. Here's my thing. Yo, fucking E guy. If that shit fucking won, Morgan Freeman would be like, I want a Grammy. I, ain't I want a Grammy. <laughs> Little, it, 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 boy, Toy Water Savage would have that over everybody. I got Morgan Freeman and won me a Grammy. <laughs> no, you but know, here's the thing. You know who you know who else is uh you know who else is in this movie? Who? And he went completely uncredited. Who? I just beat the piss out of your Coke mule. Yes, Raymond Cruz. Yes, he is Raymond Cruz. <sighs> a very young Raymond I, Cruz is in this movie. I couldn't even recognize Raymond when the first time I saw him. When my man, when my man was listening to the radio and he goes, "This is a bad idea," I was like, "That's that's Raymond Tuco." I said, "Nigga, that's Tuco. That's fucking Tuco." I'm like, "Bro, this is the Marvel versus the- like." <laughs> Like this is the Marvel versus Capcom of cast right here. Now you we got all now stars. Now you want to get to look, look, it did, it did for me. Crucified. Ah! I'm like, bye, John McGinley. John McGinley. <laughs> now, 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 here's, now here's my thing. You might be asking oh, yourself, man. who's gonna stop the general? Well, we got the. I'm, dyna- just, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm mm-hmm. mad. McGinley didn't have a line. I am no, so John, mad. John C. McGinley he comes in, he's he out, that's a, it. He was in and out. He was so in and out. And the, it makes me sad because I think we only have one more movie that we may review with, with McGinley. Now, right? You might be asking yourself, who has to stop the general? Well, we got the dynamic duo of one SAS captain, not Captain Price, uh, John Mason. He might as well be Captain Price. Might as well Price. be Captain Price, but John Mason and FBI special agent. Godspeed or oh, good speed, my bad. Good Godspeed. speed, Godspeed. but he Godspeed. does. But he does keep calling him Godspeed on purpose. It's it, it is actually Godspeed, but it's also good speed. It's it's a it's a language type. Now of you're thing. now you're right, D. Ayers, because Mason does have some Captain Price stuff. Only only thing missing from this movie is him shooting off a nuke in space. Like good. <sighs> if, if this movie had took place in another country, I can already hear him going. Remember. No Russian. <laughs> I think you said that before. I swear to God, I think you said that before with Sean Connery. But remember, no Russian. I got to be honest with you. We did. So, folks, if you get a chance to, while you listen to the Hard Rain podcast, go back and also listen to our Call of Duty podcast. Yes. I feel that's why I like The Rock so much is because it inspired the first three Call of Duty games. 
to Yo, the this core. Movie, this movie God, inspired so both, stupid. like both the like both the Call of Duty games and especially Metal Gear because I mean, just, because when you look oh. at when you look at how uh, how Francis Hummel puts together literal. Um, God, I want to say no. It's not Outer Heaven. The location is Outer Heaven. Big Shell. Bro, no, not Big Shell. This is Foxhound. Yeah, yeah. Nothing but United States Marine Corps. Whew, mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he has it set up on Alcatraz. And the reason why they need Mason is because and, Mason and real talk, in real talk, everybody. I'm just going to be honest with you. Never before, as we were old enough, so we all know. A lot of y'all probably won't remember this, but. Nobody has ever referred to Alcatraz as the rock, at least not as widespread as I guess everybody would say it. But the way they said it in this movie, the rock, the rock, they're in the rock, they're in the rock. You're, not, you're the only person that knows how to get out the rock, the rock, the rock, the rock, the rock. If you smell the rock, the rock, the rock, the rock, the rock, it was like they all holla. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the fuck <I'm> right. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 meanwhile, meanwhile, I just refer to it as the gulag now. Um, Here's me, gulag. Alcatraz, nigga. Alcatraz. Yeah, Mason. Mason's Mason apparently. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, Strikers yeah. Island, nigga. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Now, Mason. Or as, I, like, or as I like to call um, <clears throat> Capone's home for the holidays, basically. <laughs> Um, now Mason gets recruited because Mason was a former prisoner of Alcatraz that escaped. Now, if you ever get a chance, you can watch the Clint Eastwood Escape from Alcatraz movie because that was based on a true story of convicts that actually escaped from Alcatraz. And I don't think they ever found them, did they? No, I don't think everybody. I remember hearing three people try actually escape, but they said there was no way in the world they made it across the. Uh, like river. they found their stuff, they found their chains near the water. But they don't yeah, know if they like made that. it to the other side. Something yet. like that. It was something like that. And I That's a long said, swim. Yeah, it's a long swim, number one. But the real reason why is because they say um, that water was freezing. The currents. Freezing the, the currents. currents. The cur freezing and the currents. Either the currents swallowing them up and their bodies is under that water. You'll never know it. Or... Or they just froze to death in the water, and, and the, well, you know, not freeze to death, but come on, you can't, you can only swim so much in that. And then, even if they made it, where did they go? Where would they go? I don't know. Whatever. Now, 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 the reason why Mason ends up helping is because uh, Mason and one FBI director, James Womack, they got beef with each other, and yeah. Womack is like, "Look, Mason, I'll help you out. I give you a pardon," because Mason, I believe, he sold some microfilm. That had a lot of FBI secrets, and he yes, stashed it somewhere, is, and he never told them. So that's why his ass was in jail. You know what? I'm mad that I am mad so much. There have been so many uh, retrospects when it came to what happened of 9 11 because <laughs> because when you look, no, I say this because of one thing. Before 9 11, there like secrets from the government was more, it was weird. Why we didn't trust the government? Everybody trusted the government. It was more so it, shit. It, you know what I mean? The secrets was more so shit like who really killed JFK. And it you was know, like shit it, like that. It, <laughs> what if they look? Wait a minute. You mean to tell me there's an actual system trying to imprison people? Yeah, it's called the prison industrial <laughs> system. And here's the thing. And even you mean though the government they, actually peddled even, coke into the black neighborhoods? No, yeah, God. and they were shocked no, about no. stuff like that. You know? No, no, no. It's actually a whole lot worse. See. When that microfilm does get, you know, like once it finally gets recovered and you finish going over and you go, holy crap, this tell like this told me everything. I actually know who all these people are. And where are they? Well, yeah. they're all dead. When did they die? A hundred years ago. Dude, what the hell? <laughs> Did shit. everybody did, did everybody's controller shake? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the shit, it's like the shit at the end of Metal Gear Solid. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> to this Thank day, you, Mr. Director, Mr. Director, <laughs> to no, this all of it, day. Mr. Director, Mr. Mr. President. <laughs> no, to this day, hearing Mr. President was one of the most lit things ever in a video game. When I heard that, Mr. President, I'm like. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh shit, this thing. The Lolly Lule so oh, got the errors. Ah. Oh shit, the Lolly Lule. The Lolly Lule. Ah, the Lolly Lule. I was gonna, I was also gonna mention, guys. So since this movie does have, uh, well, it had an abandoned sequel. Could you imagine at the end of the credits, it could be any character on the phone. One of the one of the guys who actually survived and says, "They didn't know that you were the third one, Solidus, played by Delroy Lindo." <laughs> That would be perfect. He'd be the next big bad for the rock. Oh, too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Confession. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll save that for the Metal Gear joke next year. Now, here's the thing. Oh, I got a big confession now, for that. Now, anyway, now, 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 Mason, because Mason is an asshole, he has to visit his yeah. daughter and he's in a hotel. The FBI is kind of like, you know, watching the door because they don't want them to escape. We and can't... one of the things that I will give the movie this, they say he's an escape artist. And oh he yes, really he is. is. My man managed to get out there. We get probably one of the loop on the dust, motherfuckers. <laughs> we get probably the funnest chase sequence ever. It's a what was it? Gosby was in a Ferrari. Yes, yes, a, a yellow Ferrari. Ferrari, and dude is te- and, and, and Mason is tearing up the streets of San Francisco in a fucking Humvee. It is a dope ass fucking damn chase sequence. I fucking love it. Um, I was really sad. Uh, I think it went a little bit too long. Okay, it was. It was. Trust me. Just a little bit too long. I was a little sad at the Ferrari getting fucked up by all those 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 meters. That that kind of made me sad. I was like, oh, oh, don't hurt it. Uh, uh, I don't know, Chris. What's I don't know, Chris. What 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 broke your heart more? Uh, the Ferrari getting fucked up from that, or the Ferrari getting fucked up in that cop chase in the hidden? Hmm. Remember, one shotgun blast blew that car up. True. But that Ferrari in the rock, though, this shit fucking managed to 19, survive. A 1996 Ferrari F355 Spider. Yep. My man, my man, Godspeed, blew through a fucking window with a Ferrari and not a fucking scratch on the shit. Mm-hmm. And, and, that was a 19, and that was a 1992 Hummer. That uh he was in. Hey, now, the numbers one, are built for tough. <laughs> now here's the funny thing. Now this is what D noticed, and I said to myself, "Wow!" And Michael Bay, Bay survived. As Sean Connery is in the in the in the car, this is all you see. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, D. Hold on, D. You gotta go with these shots. Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, all the fucking low when, end shots and just yo, everything. When they did the low end shot for that, I was like, hey, Mike, when you did it in Bad Boys, shit Wait. just got real. You know what I mean? That's a lovely shot. This is Michael Cage. I mean, I mean, Nick Cage. Oh, look at that the sky. <laughs> This is weird. This is weird, Nick. And it's weird too because because is... hold on, because me and Eris, me and Eris were watching ambulance. Let me tell you something. Look. Oh God, the camera work. Let me tell you something. I will say this. Bay, to his credit, he's improved over the course of his career on the camera work, right? Even despite whatever quality of the movies, right? But the ambulance, yeah, yeah. The like, you know, a lot of people online they tend to over exaggerate shit. But me and Eris were really admiring his use of like drone shots to get certain like. To get like the full scope of the chase, sequence. Mike has Michael Bay has always been great at that. And in my opinion, this my opinion, a video game, yeah, look, it's like it's kind of funny. Mike has always been great at that. In my opinion, as much as I actually not a big fan of the film, even though Three Black Geeks are going to have to review it, um, I think Bad Boys Two was his peak and his best. Yeah. Because as much as I didn't really like Bad Boys Two, the action in it was like, yo, Mike. You was your ankles in this, bro. Can you the imagine action, the way he shot and all that? And yeah, I will give him that. He has improved even as much as you and I hated, hated that last Transformers. Okay, that's kind of cool right there. You see that? Because <laughs> <shit? laughs> no, it's like, can you imagine if he applied what he did in ambulance to the to the rocks chase sequence? It would have amplified it a lot better, and it wouldn't be like you said shaky and just well, here's oh, shit. Here's ah, shit! Yeah. Everything but was super here's, smooth. Here's the funny part, and this is going to be funny for a lot of people that don't know this. That time when he was doing all that shaky cam, that was never done before, and it yeah. was cool when he did it. 
Until Paul no bull crap. Until that Paul was so new and all that and until everybody else well, started well, doing well, it a lot well, better than well, that. Well, well, until Paul Greengrass tried to do that shit in the Bourne movies and everybody jizzed themselves thinking it was the best fighting shit ever. Oh, I'm like, my no, it's God. not. The, all that shaky cam fighting is not as good as you think it is, man. And I like I said, it's kind of funny. As much as everybody shot on Michael Bay, there's a lot of shit that he innovated when it came to shoot, do shooting action. So I'm not look. At, look, yes, Transformers movies, each and every one of them suck. I, I guess the second one's a good one. <laughs> I think the second one might be the best one. But well, he was one of them, him, like much like Cameron. You know, Bay was just like Cameron, where he was like, "Yo, I wanted to fail Transformers two all in IMAX, straight up." And he and they let him. They was like, "Fuck it, all right, IMAX, go for it." And you know, you know, and I think it's a toss up between what is peak Bay, either Bad Boys two or Transformers two. It's one of those. It's between those movies where I can say, "What I do?" But God, but guys, I feel so bad for Michael Bean and those Navy Seals. Bruh. They had they stood no chance. Bruh, now here's what D said. I will not fire. I will not give that command. I will not give that order. Do you know what I said about head? First off, hey, Mike, um, you're not going to remember this, but the headset you're wearing, you wore that same headset in the old movie. And also, that's the thing that all that same headset is what actually inspired Hideo Kojima to do that. But it's even more funnier because The Rock, and this is also inspired Hideo Kojima. Did you see Next year, my nigga, do you uh, understand uh, it? Hey, D, D, you want to know the greatest thing about that shot that, you know, considering that it was used uh, through Hideo Kojima's inspiration, that shot was never in the movie. Never. It was never in the movie. Never. <laughs> this is this is how tense the standoff is. You got Mason and Godspeed underneath the Navy SEALs in the shower, right? Now, obviously, the Marines and them got the higher ground. They got the better position. The Navy SEALs are fucked in them showers. They're, they're done, right? Yeah. So the thing of it is, they're at a standoff. The general, because he is at, at his core a nice person, he's like, look, I don't want to kill you guys, but I got a bunch of dudes over here that want to kill y'all. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Chris, Chris, I do believe Hummel said, <clears throat> that's right, gentlemen. No one has to die needlessly. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough syntax in the blow of sky high. Yes. yes. Only thing missing is, is Hummel doing this. Dude, the fact that the fact that Michael Bean goes, he's a general. Listen, I know why you're here. I understand. God, no, and I and like a God knows I don't blame you. We've all been shafted by the government, all right? This fucking bootlicker. I'm sitting back hold on. I'm sitting back here going, <laughs> Michael, listen. There is nothing that you could say in this situation. There is no version of this story where you and the rest of those seals are getting are walking out of the best part. Are walking, look, look, look. Were y'all like me? alive. Were y'all like me like this? Any second, somebody gonna fart or drop a rock. <laughs> there goes a the rock. There goes the rock. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If I'm a Navy SEAL, this has happened. I'll be like, first off, hey, you know what, man? Hey, look, I know I'm a Navy SEAL, hardened and all that stuff. Hey, I'm gonna join them up here. Can I, can I join you, General? Please. It's also, also, also. <laughs> here's what indeed thinks everybody fucked up. The general fucked up number one when he said, "All right, man, stand down." And every one of them still had their gun. Thank out. you. <laughs> They're already on edge, and you're you gonna tell them stand down. Like, come on, dog. You like, lost, no. At that point, at that point, gentlemen, right there, you can pinpoint the exact moment of when he lost all control. I also like how the hardened Marines. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rock, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what it was. You know what it was. <laughs> the brick fell. Contact. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <that> happened. <laughs> As a look, 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 all right, all right. I went, I, I, I went, um, paint, um, uh, go on shooting paintball a couple few times, right? And there was a there was a moment where we was like walking through the forest, and oh my god, it was some Vietnam shit. I swear to god, because all of a sudden, shh, stop everybody, be like, what, what, what? They are right in front of us. No, dude, you got to do this. And we look, we look, it was like, like a, a wall, it was like a wall of trees, and we knew it. We like. Oh, yeah, somebody did that too. 
We were like, oh shit. And my cousin was right beside me, like, hey D, let's get down. Let's bend down. Slowly. And the second we crap down, ah, put my knife. Somebody, <laughs> I just, oh somebody, my God. Let me guess, D. Somebody stepped on a branch. No, some crack ass step, nigga. Someone on, stepped on a twig. Some <laughs> white boy behind us freaked out because he knew we were caught. <laughs> He was like, shit, pop, 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 pop. All of a sudden, you just, dog, they had us surrounded. They were, it was like seven of us, and it was like 12 of them. They had us surrounded. There, there is no way that you are going to uh, Mac your way out of that situation. Oh, None of y'all had a man. mini gun. None of y'all had old painless. Oh, man, look, 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 look. It was cool because me and my cousin, we was like low. We was like, pop, 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 pop. We was doing that. Ass. Now, we know we didn't do it. We know that wasn't our shot because we just see one of them go like, fuck, I'm hit. We was like, yeah, that was us. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> and here's oh, the thing. Like, we get, we, we get to be, lit up. What gets me is that I like I like Mason's attitude. All the, all the Navy SEALs kid is just him and Godspeed. And Mason is like, well, I guess that's the end of the movie. Let's get out of here. No, Chris, Chris, no, no, Chris. The best part, my man, like both of them, both of them said, Don't go, son. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Son. Don't go. My man, Don't hold go. up. My man's thought, he really thought that at the end of the I'm day, be different. No, I'm no, no. No, no, D, D, D. He thought, he really thought that he was gonna tell his grandkids, hey. I came out of the like I came out of the pipe and I just started firing. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Shot Hummel. Bah, bah. Shot, Shot his bah, ass. Bah. Shot his ass. <laughs> Call a guy. Came I saw look, saw bah, bah. I looked ah. at motherfucker. Look, and I looked at motherfucker. I was like, yeah, I'm like dead, nigga. I'm like what? I know that motherfucker. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> oh All Shot of a sudden he started to yell. Shot him again. Ah! Now shut the door. I love, I love, I love <laughs> all of that lie. I love every, <laughs> every, you know, you know, you know, every you know, word you know, that came out of his mouth was you know, a lie, and I love you it. You know why we love it? Because that's some shit that your great uncle will say, and you and you just and he have like a bottle of like you know Jack and Coke in his hand, and he's just telling the story and shit. You know, <laughs> dog, there is nothing like old black men with no internet to vet it. <laughs> Lion, he's old Frank Duke's ass nigga. <laughs> Thank you, boy. Boy, I had to hear. I heard. Look, I've heard stories where people say they invented crap. I heard stories where, ba 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 ba. You know how many old black men lied saying that's when I took my shotgun. And I told him you ain't coming up in here, and we're like, you lying, lying, lie, motherfucker, Earl, <laughs> Earl. Earl, Earl. No, I'm sorry. I need something else. Clifford. <laughs> Clifford. Heath Cliff. Heath Cliff. Heath Cliff. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. You lying today. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I just don't, no, and I just thought of something. That same kid, he, and he was the youngest one out of all of them, right? You know, I, you know now that I think about it, do this retirement. No, no. <laughs> Fresh out of the academy, but but I digress. Fresh out of the academy, but I digress. Eris, Eris, first in his class, first in his class. <laughs> top no, marks. Look, wait, 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 wait. Top hold marks up. for day. You hold Chris. up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, Chris, Chris. We see this nigga carrying the heaviest of all the guns. Both you and I. Impressive. Impressive. Press. Hey guys, hey guys, let's have a chant. We like being alive. We like being alive. We no, like being oh, we like nope. being oh, we no, like D, being D, alive. Come on, come on, come on, man. Come on, you gotta do better than that. <sighs> Who's that? It's my girlfriend. I met her in France. Oh man, let me see, man. Oh, she's beautiful. You know what's even more beautiful? This is that a sonogram? Oh, congratulations, bro. Yeah, I also happen to have this letter that I was writing her. I just never worked up the courage to send it to her, you know? I'm sick to my stomach that D. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Eris, that's when you get the shot. Where's zooming around? There's Starla. 
It's been four years. It's been four months since we've seen each other. I think you're the most special girl in the world. Not a day goes and by. Hold on, here's a shot of glass again. The game we go in the world. Not a day goes by that I don't think about you. I want to make sure I have enough for us and the baby. So you didn't write no more here. What happened, man? Didn't have time, man. Rockets was flying over our heads. All right, four minutes, gentlemen. You're going to get to it, man. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm going to finish the letter. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry. I'm going to finish this letter. I promise you. <laughs> no, we can't no, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Chris. Was one, one more thing. One more thing. Did y'all notice? Did y'all notice that he gave this guy uh, – he gave this guy the final weapon to be used against Big Boss to Sean Connery. This man gave him oh. waterproof weapons, an aerosol mm-hmm. can, and yep. some like, like literally some MacGyver shit. Boom, 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 but it don't do do. Like, did y'all notice that? I was like, hold up, aerosol can, waterproof matches. I really hope Hideo does not see this movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Then, like, look, 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 that time it look 1996, Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just rolling because the air is colorized. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, that shit, that shit had me rolling because Macy, Macy literally just all the all the Navy SEALs died. He just looked up and said, Well, roll credits. <laughs> I did a good thing today. <laughs> oh no, and even no. He, I did a good thing. No, got him in. Oh no, no, well, he, no. He said an even better line, gentlemen. He said an even better line. Huh. I guess I really am the Highlander. <laughs> gentlemen, welcome to the Rock. Said I went for cliche. <laughs> No, even with Godspeed trying to they get him really, back, like there really know, did have to be only one. Oh yeah, Godspeed tried to get him back. He just fucking CQC Godspeed and it's like, yeah. I, I, I gotta say, I gotta say, it's nothing like seeing a 60 year old do a combat roll on the ground <laughs> to get inside here's of the thing, a and Here's the thing. Facility. If you if, and here's the thing, Sean Connery has Sorry, the right Sean Connery has so much charisma that you believe that shit. You just yeah, believe man. it, it just works. Well, <laughs> just, no, just, and you're absolutely right, uh, CJ. He has, he, dude. The the amount of charisma from just the line delivery of besides safety is off, and Nick Cage is dumb enough to look at <laughs> look at his sidearm. Dumbass. <laughs> Again, they had the emphasis. Bear my gosh. You're not with anti-terrorism, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but here's the thing: they had to emphasize it so much that he's he's never been in the field. Because he's just a chemist expert. That's Bro, it. He said free sucker. Yeah, free sucker. I'm like, oh yeah, we're dead. Well, <laughs> well, well, you are. I, I might make it out of here. I mean, I'm sorry. It's between Nick Cage saying you're free sucker or Lei Wu Long and Tekken 4. Freeze! Freeze! <laughs> I really want to kick the shit out of his fucking English voice actor that just went heavy on the fucking Chinese English. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> oh my god, dog! Here's my thing: you had these two ragtag folks. They take out how many Marines did they take out? They, they took out. They then they took out everybody. It's literally the third act from Modern Warfare Two. No, no, I'm talking about. <laughs> but I'm not talking about before Mason split off with them when they were both together. Oh, they that. took out like four or yeah. five Marines and shit. Right. I, I like I I, I kind of see. Hold on, that's that's when you know this is a movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of them were t- <laughs> both of them. The dinette, the, the the odd couple is taking out some marines like it ain't nothing. I like how I like I like how these. Chris, you, no, Chris, you said it best. This ragtag duo here. No, I like how all these marines are are like year seven to year fifteen, and they're getting taken out by a dude. Who just who never touched a gun since the academy? And, and another guy that was SAS. They, they, get take, they get taken out by and the it, old. Hold on, D. They get taken out by the old guard and a plucky scientist. Thank you, old guard who hasn't touched oh. a gun in thirty years. And former oh. SAS, like goddamn, like I know, I know, training sticks with you for life, but can you pinch the guy at least? Like, what the <laughs> hell are you doing here? 
<laughs> this is like Penny from Inspector Gadget joining forces with Ben Ten's grandfather. I'm not saying that <laughs> they, they can't. First off, do first, it. Off, first off, grand, just, first what? off, first D, off, the grandfather, the grandfather from Ben Ten actually did some shit. <laughs> Paul, I, think, see, and he's also Paul Eiding from Metal Gear. <laughs> First off, D, I gotta give you plus fifty wow. points for saying Grandpa from Ben Ten because you're not lying. That first, you're right though because the first couple of seasons of Ben Ten, the Grandpa was there as dead weight. He really he, was. No, but I say that but like he can fight because he's proven he can fight. But he like come on, though. Yo, Bro, former SAS, like, got, did he? Oh, he was really fucking just carrying the weight of him and Nick Cage the whole time. Like, hey, just, just, just come to think of, like, come to think of it, this, 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 you realize that your top, your top men, the best men that you can bring, that you can have go up against Doctor Banner and Old Man Rambo here. <laughs> oh man, yo, Rambo. yo, yo, because because here's the funny part. When Mason gets captured Dr. later Man on, from Johnny Quest. <laughs> when Mason gets captured later on, he's talking cash shit to the general and his men and stuff. Doesn't he get a gun butt to the head for that shit? Oh, and it was beautiful. <laughs> There's been a, there was a couple of gun butts in this movie, man. Oh, they get yo. Granted, he deserved a couple, the gun, couple of rifles went up somebody's head. Is word. But but to be fair, it's like well, Mason, you did kind of talk shit about the military. What did you think was gonna happen? That gun butt <laughs> was that gun butt was sign language for nigga. You shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> it's like bam. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but no. <laughs> I mean, he, he's out of line, but he's right. <laughs> yeah, alive, but he's right. I mean, you can, you you can hold argue. Gun, but no. I mean, you could argue with him, but you know. No, the one, the line, <laughs> the line that had me in tears. <laughs> and he's when the general's like, "Did anybody bother to tell you who I am and why I'm doing this?" Best line ever. All I know is that you were big in Vietnam. I saw the highlights on television. It's like you were an asshole. That's a fucking asshole move. <laughs> I'm thinking of, about you deserved, <laughs> you deserved that. It's like, uh, you can't make fun you of know, Vietnam vets. You can't do that shit. You can't do that. that. You know what? Yeah. No, you no, know, no, you the know. second, no, sorry. The second most insulting thing to say at that point is <laughs> see, I fought another war. A the real, real war. war. Man, they would have put a bullet yeah, in Mason's right, head immediately after that. Like, <laughs> oh, really, Shorty? You called out a real war. <laughs> <laughs> Credits, guys. We got like, all that like, <laughs> like, you like this. money get in the way of a good war. I'm sorry, from your background, a good scuffle. <laughs> scuffle. It's like this. He was like this. He was like this. You son of a bitch. You like this. I'm just sorry, Sonny. When you like, when you were still, when you was there, when you were there, a Boy Scout, I was fighting. I was having sex with I don't know with, with eight different secret agents at the time. You know what I mean? Like you know some some gangster shit. And then the next line. I don't quite see how you cherish the memory of the dead by killing another million. And this is not comic. It's a lack of lunacy. In general, sir, personally, I think you're a fucking idiot. I was like, well, that's the second one right there. You, you deserve that one. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is the one thing I will give Ed here is his character the whole time. Fuck. He got a point. Yeah, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your boy over there was kind of sort of telling you the same thing, but you need the Englishman over here to tell you the same thing. So, you know. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, Second, saw, you know, <laughs> meanwhile, you got three loose cannons looking at you like, where the fuck's our money? <laughs> Shout out to Bo King Woodbine actually being the voice of reason. You mean tell me we got to do this? <laughs> Bo King, no, dude. Bo, uh, Bo, King, Bo King Woodbine. I don't know, man. Host, I don't know. Dude, uh, Bo King Woodbine, a.k.a. the decoy octopus of this movie. He was just there. He, he was, was there. there. He's just there, you know. Bokeem will buy me and Bokeem will buy. You know, he's he was a part of it. No, 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 no. And this he got is, to talk. Is, let's he be got, real. Let's and be he, got, he, got, he got to actually kill somebody. So, let's you know, be real, yeah. guys. Let's be real, guys. This has been Bokeem will buy his career. He pops up in movies and collects a check, and then boom, he's out. Hey, man, look, he's man, that's a, man, look, that's Shoots a Ford scene, goes home. That's a that's a new Ford Explorer. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, you ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> Bokey, Bokey. You know, damn. D, see, I don't know why look, you keep doing let, that. Let me find that little bit. I do not understand uh, why you keep doing that. You know damn well what, that what, is. What, you know what, damn what, well, you know damn what, well D, that that is a first-generation Titan, okay? Yeah, he bought a Denali. What, what, 
you talking no, about? No, what I'm saying is, look, I know what everybody's saying. You mean to tell me that Bulky Woodbine has a fleet of mediocre cars? You are goddamn right he does. Oh, you know, you know, you know, you know what movie he popped up in? Hey, baby, album. check what I got. Look, hey, baby, check what I got. Wow. You got a 1997, look, look, wow, you got a 2005 Toyota Highlander. Yeah, it's nice. It is 2022, Bokeem. Why? I'm a mod this bitch. <laughs> see, this is what you see. This is what you don't understand. This is, look, he start going into his whole little wood like, grain on everything. <laughs> oh, you know, it's some old, old Gen X black nigga shit. I'm gonna make sure got a little pouch for my crown warrior. Right? He looked like a nigga. <laughs> no, but here's the thing about Bokey, right? It's like he could have easily <laughs> Bokeem could have easily, and maybe we've said this before, Bokeem could have easily been the category just doing black movies, but he always finds himself. No, I remember what he was in 3,000 Miles to Graceland, you know, the Elvis movie with all the I, I don't was know like, how, you, how did you get like, that gig? He has a good ass agent. I'm sorry, that agent is fucking phenomenal. I would have fired him because he had to say this and um he had to say this in Big Hit. And I don't remember much about Big Hit, but this is what I remember in Big Hit. Motherfucker, why you give me this? This is not what I wanted. I wanted the Jurgens. I can't put that on my dick and beat my dick. I'm gonna call you back. Cause not even 3,000 miles to Graceland. He was an overlord, and I was like, Bokeem, what are you doing to Overlord? He huh. just be showing up, Chris, don't he, man? Chris, if he was born ten Paychecks. years earlier, like Chris, if he was born ten years earlier, he would have been in the right stuff. Man, the only non-speaking Negro in that movie, Man. the right stuff. Actually, that would put him. He's in just line. working the radio control. Actually, tower. actually that would have put him in. That would put him in line to have. Sir, more. they got five seconds. That would that would put That's him. It. In, That's that, it. that that would put Bokeem in lone line. Nigga, actually, lone nigga, lone nigga at NASA. <laughs> That would put him in line to actually have multiple guest starring roles in fucking uh, uh, Perry Mason, <laughs> Matlock, and yep. In the Heat of the Night. That's a trifecta. You know what's so funny about this? Bo King he would have been in the late TV. season of Murder, She Wrote. Man. And, bro, but here's the thing. Bo King doesn't touch TV. He don't. He doesn't well, he touch well, television. Halo. 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 Outside of Halo. Halo. Mm. New, he did New York Undercover. He did a couple episodes of New York Undercover. Couple, couple, he, did. he did. He did New York um, He did black TV shows. Let's, let's rephrase that. That's he what I'm saying. He does, but, but here's the thing. You would think he can cut something in black drama television. He doesn't. You, you would think he would have been on power no, no, for no, a good, no, 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 good no. season or two. Has he been in something? Chicago PD. He did a couple episodes of that. Wherever. Actually, yeah, you are right. You are yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Snowfall, yeah okay, so Snowfall recently, too. <laughs> Yeah, like he he was also he got a good agent. Though. We just like, said it. He got yeah, a good yeah. agent. He, he, got good also, agent. he got a great agent. He was he also a great agent. A, good for you, Bokeem. He was also in a Tupac music video mm-hmm. when Pac was alive. By the way, I ain't Bo- mad. Bo- Bokeem, Bokeem is just like just like our boy uh 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 um uh GQ from fucking Juice uh 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 but oh uh, uh freaking uh, G Money Omar, Omar Omar Epps and stuff. Both of them. Yeah, the trajectory of movie careers of, of careers is just kind of the same where they just pop up and stuff. I'm like, what the fuck is Omar, Omar doing this? Omar, Stop, I think he was not in the Blade TV series. Yes, he was. Oh, yes, God. he was. I forgot mm-hmm. he was in that. Uh-huh. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Then again, I like to forget that when, that show even existed. But <laughs> when you <laughs> say, Eris, I mean, not Eris, Chris, when you say career trajectory, when you say um, Omar Epps, I think what happened with Omar was he did House and the show became super popular and that put him in a different range where he was like i can just sit back and do this because he's going to collect the check on dvds and show stuff for the rest of his life but for, house is on every fucking channel now actually it's actually, syndication actually <laughs> um i have to shout out one other person who is kicking up right now um a one malcolm jamal warner he has a tv show the resident that's still kicking I don't look, look, I gotta be honest with you. Michael Jamal Warner is one of those dudes that I'm shocked <laughs> for no, I'm saying I'm shocked in this sense. This actually has nothing to do with his movie career, but mm-hmm. a part of me is like, so Gen so Gen Z has not canceled you for no fucking reason yet. I feel like he will just like out of nowhere. 
wait a minute, what Mike, what he do? What Mike do? <laughs> like, I feel like he was just, somebody gonna be somebody gonna be pissed off at him. Like, and this is for Malcolm and Eddie. Ugh, he does something like that or some shit. Like he that. like Ma- look, look, Malcolm Jamal Ward said something off off can- <gasps> One of those, you know. <laughs> look, look, look. Make before we get back things. to, I'm before, shocked before, happened, before we get back man. to the movie, though, I gotta say, you were probably like me, D. The fuck is Malcolm Jamal Warner doing in fucking uh, Sons of Anarchy? The fuck's he doing in this show? That was the most wildest thing. Now, granted, I found out that he did write a couple of episodes and direct an episode. That was that was probably the part of the reason why. But it, I just laughed. I was like, Malcolm Jamal Warner is part of the Black Biker Gang. He, uh, ah. yeah, Malcolm, yeah, I remember he did like two or three episodes because, um, I remember, um, Mario, Mario Van Peebles did like two, he, Mario only did like two episodes, yeah, but, um, but Malcolm, he did multiple, like you say, he helped with the writing and he helped with the writing and all the rest of that, and he helped with something else on the show too, something minor with it, so you know, yeah. but still, it was, um, credited, credited, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it is, <laughs> now, weird thing now, put up there. Now, these, I... these, these, oh, go ahead, got it. I really cannot. Mm, I, I can't see. I can't unsee this now. So, y'all know that uh, Schwarzenegger was supposed to be good speed. Hmm, that would have been weird. I was supposed to believe this guy can't shoot a gun. No, hell no. I know. No, I don't know. I'm, no, no, no. You're supposed to lead me to believe that it's Schwarzenegger and Connery in a buddy team up against a whole bunch of Marines. First off, if it was Schwarzenegger as Gosby, he would have busted open that fucking shower or fucking hatch and shot everybody in the fucking head. And that was ah! Like, ah! First, well, see, you all a killer. <laughs> I guess I am. Perfect. No, you're supp- perfect. no, we're supposed to, no, we're supposed to take Schwarzenegger. Serious as we want to give him a different background. No, 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 no. no, no. He's supposed to be a scientist. Schwarzenegger <laughs> being a scientist. They would have gave him a different background. Like, no, they would not. Look, 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 uh, uh, look. Uh, uh, after that on, scene, look, after the little shower scene where it would be, it would have been more lit because they would have been shooting. After that, he was like, this. "So wait a minute, let me get this straight. You are in, you're not an anti terrorism. You're not this. So what are you? I just don't give a close. That's all I know." <laughs> First off, he was, like this. he was like this. When did you like? Were you in a war? He was like this. So I was. There's a storm. <laughs> first off, first, first, first. He was, like, he was like this. Is Arnold acting? Yes. <laughs> First, first off, Aris, first off, Aris, if I couldn't believe his ass for the five seconds that he was Dr. Victor Freeze, ain't mm. no way I could believe him as a scientist. The Ice Age! And guess what? And guess what, Chris? That would have been one year later. But here's the thing. I say five yeah, seconds. Yeah, one year I, later. I say five seconds because they only showed the, pa- the past version of Victor Freeze pre-Mr. Freeze when he had the glasses on. I'm like, oh, Listen, he's scientist glass. because he's glasses. No, Got no, 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 Chris. You're not seeing the picture here. It was the glasses and the lab coat. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> because you got to see, Chris, the, the whole coat. point is the lab coat, really. Because if he didn't have the lab coat, you'll think he's a doofus. The doofus with the lab coat and the glasses on. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, but the thing I'm just saying, the what's, wrong with, what, what's wrong with a six-foot-tall Austrian that's bulking biceps being a, a scientist. I, I feel like you're racist, sir. I, I mean, I get it. It works for Batman, okay? I get okay, that. That's fair enough. Fair enough. It, it works for Batman, but Schwarzenegger's not Batman. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Now, the thing is, he was supposed to play the role of Goodspeed, but Schwarzenegger turned down the role because he did not like the script. <laughs> that's true. Ain't that funny? Yeah, I, I mean, mean so he didn't like the script of this. <laughs> he didn't like the script of the movie. I mean, good. I guess it's a good thing that you know. Actually, I know. I'm glad. I'm glad he didn't like it. I'm glad he didn't like it. This movie would have been weird. It would have. It would have been very weird. Uh, hell, it's already bad enough that Tarantino is an uncredited uh, screenwriter for this movie. I mean, let's be real. That was what? I mean, I'm not shocked. I mean, think about it. Josh Wheaton was uncredited for fucking Alien Resurrection. That he was. That that's that's you'd be surprised a lot of writers that actually went uncredited actually touched a lot of movies over the course of like the 90s and stuff. So it ain't it doesn't exactly shock me. It's like yeah, it's 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 just like what I had said, guys. It's this is the Marvel versus Capcom of cast like of cast members. 
like not just not just from the actors, but from even the uh, the crew, you know, from the like writers, directors, produ- like hell, from just the production standpoint, they had a ton of people touching this movie. Yeah, it's a Bruckheimer film. It's a yeah. Bruckheimer film. Yeah, I mean, but my it's, thing is this: like, it's that, like it's that time you look, you know, you look back in Hollywood back in the day and, and go, "God, was everybody friends?" I mean, I, I find it funny too. It feel that way, doesn't it? Man? it like they really look does. connected to each other. They was all connected. I mean, you know what it kills me again? As I said, the plucky dynamic duo over here. They managed to take out a. They managed to sneak their way, take out a bunch of Marines, take out the guidance chimps from the missiles in order to do that. Yeah, best scene. Yep. <laughs> You're going to shoot me. The safety is on. <laughs> God, Tony Scott was originally supposed to direct this. Mm-hmm. And he did the fan, which, yeah, yeah, not bad. Could be, you know. But, well, I will say this Hans Zimmer. Yes. <laughs> Bruh, man. <laughs> Them, them, the music, dog. Look, look, look. I wish it was Henry Greg, Harry Gregson Williams that did this, but I'll take a Zimmer. I'll take Zimmer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It really was supposed to be Williams. Oh, it was. It was supposed to be because his name was mentioned. Um, his name was mentioned in the credits. Oh, okay. He has something. Really? Hold on. Yeah, the music. It says right here, Harry Gregson Williams. He was the score producer. That makes fucking sense. Oh, yeah. That so you mean sense. Sense. Principal, the principal yeah. composers was was, two. Nick, was Nick Smith and Hans Zimmer, Gregson Williams. He was the score producer. We got two fire ass fucking wow. That's why the movie is goaded <laughs> easily. Yes. <laughs> I gotta say and why he definitely and, and why he and, definitely and, came in Metal Gear too. Look, and look. Guess, no, hold up, and guess what, gentlemen? The House of Mouse. Was the studio behind it? How? Oh, yeah, that, yeah. It doesn't shock me at all. Wow. This is it, it, because here's the thing. The, here, yeah, because I think The Rock is on on Hulu, and that's under. Yeah, so yeah, it's under. I, I will say this: only thing missing from this scene is the Metal Gear Solid Two thing. Yes, I need the teary, <laughs> the teary, the teary eyed, the teary eyed salute. Hey, hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Where was the Patriot at? <laughs> I need that gun, man. I need that Patriot. <laughs> I swear, yeah, man. There's something in my throat. <laughs> oh, my God, dog. Now, here's the thing. So, Tony Todd and them are looking at the general when he bluffs and shoots the missile. And as, as D said, Tony Todd says, sir, where's the fucking money? And they, man, get, into a, they, get, into a, money. And they get into a Mexican standoff. Meanwhile, Godspeed and Mason are sitting back behind the door like, so what do we do? I don't know. Just let them argue. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. You could let them argue. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? <laughs> like, you could, but why? Like, honestly, <laughs> why? why? The second they started putting our guns on each other, I was like, good. This good. is going to take good. care of itself. This will all take care of itself. <laughs> you know, hey, just hey, don't hey, get hey, involved. Hey, the only thing I needed was Mason to pull a Captain Price. Good. <laughs> Dog. Oh, look, personally, all you needed was a all you needed was a grenade to throw in there just to make sure everybody's oh, going. Oh, oh, see, if I was if I was if I was Godspeed, I would be the asshole. Hey, close your eyes. Flashbang, nigga. <laughs> Breach what and clear. F- <laughs> what breach and <laughs> breach and clear, breach clear. Shoot everybody! All right, guys, uh, we're good. Just gotta get that last ship, and we done. What did Joe say? Bomb <laughs> when it blows up. <laughs> said bomb. So, uh, like so, why in bloody hell does Makarov know you? <laughs> <laughs> here comes here comes Hubble. Twenty years ago, I watched my man get nuked. Never again. Wait, cut back. Wait, cut back to Hummel. Do it. <laughs> no. Boy. That was Boy. the new. Real that was the new. <laughs> him going. Real Boy. talk. Speaking of speaking of uh Call of Duty, it's like at any time I was ready for Ed Harris. Like when David Moser walked back there to Ed Harris, I was ready for it. sir. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why? Tony Todd come over there to pour gasoline on him, set him on fire. <laughs> I was waiting for that the whole time. Like, I mean, second, man, pulls it, here, my, man, flip it. my man pulls out the stogie and goes, son, you just wouldn't understand it. Also, that was kind of a little... America wouldn't understand it. <laughs> also, guys, that was kind of a mini little race war happening because the two black guys oh, yeah. money. Yeah. The two white guys didn't want to go for the money. So you know we had a little race war featuring <laughs> featuring featuring Paul Wall with the black guys. And then that was it. <laughs> I'm mad you said it was a race war. It really was. I mean think it about really it. Was. Two black guys. <laughs> no, it's not a race war, Chris. It wasn't a race war. It was the third act from Trespass. When everybody started turning on each other. The black versus the whites. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I can see Tony, I can see Tony Todd right now. Hummel Where's the gold? Him. No, no, no. Tony T- oh, wait, 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 like Hummel would be like, oh man, is it like sir, you're supposed to have like you're like captain, you're supposed to have your ass in the basement. It's like <laughs> Tony going, I know where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Dog, what got me so super fly this motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, what got me, right? So Nick Cage, they gotta get the last uh target the uh the targeting chip from out of the missile, and he's fighting this one dude, the, the one marine dude that was still alive and kicking that didn't get shot up in the middle of the Mexican standoff. <laughs> the Carl from Die Hard. Really was. Now, I gotta say this: he had the worst stuff because Nick Cage said. Fuck it. If I'm going to die, you're going to get this fucking damn gas ball in your fucking mouth and you're done. And I was like, smart move. I wouldn't have thought of that shit <laughs> at all. Man gets caught. Bro, when that shit happened. Every time I close my eyes. Actually, actually, sir, internally in that man's head when that ball went in his mouth. <laughs> My man knew he was done. Like, oh, hey, <laughs> hot. <laughs> oh, God. What's the last thing? What's the last thing he heard? <laughs> Get up off of that thing. <laughs> I mean, at that point, if the shit's in your mouth, do you, do you chew down on it at that point? You're already dead. So you chew on that shit and see how it tastes. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how do you how do you go? How do you honestly go out like that, dog? He put that shit in there like it was a fucking fucking Skittles. It's like eat this shit. <laughs> I knew that was going in his mouth the second he put it in his pocket. I think it's a wrap. I'm I'm saving this hey, shit for his. Hey, ass. look, man. Hey, look. You you acting a little too villainy here. Eat this. <laughs> Hold on, a little this? too villainy. Hey, hey, what's Yo, what's the name of them fucking uh, mints? Oh, what uh, uh, Altoids? Yeah, his Altoid. Uh, yeah, his Altoid. <laughs> fresh gold, better man. Those freshness. <laughs> Gas, the fresh maker. <laughs> Ball bearings. <laughs> now, speaking of which, we Woo! want to talk about Love setting it. yo. We want Love to talk it. about setting yourself up for he... a death. You know what he did? He did he did what most heroes do. Um, you talk your villain into a monologue to distract them. Yep. He talked so long. And if you want anybody to talk a monologue, you get Tony Todd to do it. And goddamn Tony Todd fell right into that trap. Bro, yep. his ass. <laughs> My man, did you see the look on his face? I like how he got launched. Did you see, did you see the look on his face? That Yeet. was that was instant. <laughs> Oh, I'd be perfect, nigga. He, he would, when I saw that single spike, I'm like, <laughs> oh, 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 here's what set it off, folks. Here's what set it off. Here's what sets off all those things the slight spin of the body on the pipe. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. The, 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 the half CG, half ragdoll physics. 
I don't know. I thought that was it was, that, it, was that, it, it was no 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 it was that it was in that weird time that weird uh, blend that weird, <laughs> that weird blend of CG back there back then when it was hella expensive but we didn't know it. <laughs> well, Bay 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 had the uh, capital to be able to pull that shit off. His name was Jerry Bruckheimer. Yes, he did. <laughs> Bruckheimer Bruck- was. There is one thing Jerry Bruckheimer is known. If if we talk about white lines silver, Jerry <laughs> Bruckheimer believes that God C4 it. makes it, anything better. Damn it, D. So his fashion. name is the bump. The bump. <laughs> the bump. Bumps Joel in the bump. The bump. Bumps in the Joel bump. The bump. You got the silver. girls in the Joel. bumps in the bump. Uh, uh. Joel the bump silver. Oh, man. Dance. man. Dad, my man was uh, dancing with MC Hammer. Pumps can you pump. imagine? Can you imagine walking in all his? <laughs> can you imagine Joel walking Silver in a speedo doing a man. line? With, look, just be honest with you. That Jewish Pete is hard as a motherfucker. Humps in the book. <laughs> oh, real talk. Hair everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a bump of coke off a of fucking Vanessa Del Rio's ass. I'm sorry. Look, look, look. And this is be at Hammer's house. Look, at Hammer's this house. is the look. And this is one of the ways that we're not going to get sold on on Joel Silver. But Joel Silver talking to us right there. I say he was hairy. I'm not hairy. Bullshit. 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 You got the body where you got the body of a white guy where the middle is just a patch of hair. Don't start that with me, Joel. Joel Silver. No, Joseph, I know. Here's what gets me. It's like now, a full throne rug from, like, from the uh, waist down. <laughs> it's like, hey, look, clean Jewish arms. Robin Williams. Like, Robin I don't Williams. understand. <laughs> you know what got me? Now, um, obviously, Godspeed is also poisoned after he put the uh, – <laughs> The, the the green glowy ball is that old boy's uh, mouth. So now like he has the green, the green glowy ball in mouth. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> he has the epipen. Now I saw a guy, a, a, a military guy person on YouTube. You know, you get those people that do the whole reactions to stuff in movies, and they're military people, and they kind of point out what's yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? He pointed out. Okay, so first off, yes, he was right to get the pen to stab himself, but you don't just. Oh, like this and shit when you do it. Yes, you have to, <laughs> yes, you have to put a lot of force behind it, but you're not jamming it. You jam it in your fucking leg. You don't jam it in your damn stomach. And you gotta find the vein. Yeah, you gotta find the vein here. Like just ah, you know. It's... <laughs> but we need Mel Max, so we just get this dude yeah. just saying ah. And because Ooh. and because Nick Cage's character was uh he he specifically made sure that his character cannot curse. I can hear him now going, ah, a hole. Now here's Womack. Womack, meanwhile, when he lost contact with Mason and Gosby earlier after the uh seals had died off, he was like, Whoop, I guess we have to uh go ahead and blow up uh Alcatraz. And where have he I sends- heard this story? Where have I heard this uh this plot point from? Mm-hmm. So it's a countdown now, and um, basically, if they pop the flare, which is this this melodramatic ass scene here. Oh man, you know what? You know what? I get it. I get it, though, Chris. I get why they cut out the scene right before that, which is uh, which was Nick Cage getting a call saying you were like, 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 well, like, what's happening? Like, like, what's happening? Where's who's in charge now? I'm in charge now. Who is this? <laughs> General uh, James Houseman. C- <laughs> CIA. <laughs> CIA. We've been monitoring the whole situation with you. The whole chemicals. <laughs> no, D. I, I got the end. I got the oh, I got the, well, I, wait, I said too much. Wait, D, I got I, I got the line. I got the line to end it. You are an embarrassment from the 1970s. Oh God! Imagine being, imagine Hummel being told he's an embarrassment of the 70s. Not an embarrassment of the Vietnam War, but just an embarrassment, embarrassment of, the of the 70s. 70s. The just, 70s. Here's Ed Harris. Well, I was fucking up back then. <laughs> I just find it funny. This man pops open the flare, and, and the F six one of the F 16s already drops the bomb, and it blows his ass into the fucking water. <laughs> Real life? He's oh, coming. he'd be dead because the, oh, the, the flames and all that stuff would have burned his ass alive with third degree burns. And I shit. like that's a cook cage came, right there, bro, <laughs> like, brother. They came over there by AWACS Man. to bomb the place. 
Like, look, like, like, you ever see, like, I saw this video of these choppers being five miles away from a target, and again, America's the bad guys. Holy shit! <laughs> so you know, I'm thinking you know, to myself, you know just that. imagine if they just had two choppers. I right, light up the whole prison. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, hey, D, you know they had me thinking of Colonel Campbell. Washington's not stupid enough to drop nukes like on an island. Oh, yes, they are. I'm like, hey, I'm going to need you to chill. I appreciate, I appreciate your optimism there, Campbell, but. Uh... Hey, 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 hey. Love that giddy ass optimism. You were a lot. Hey. Hey, Roy, you were alive when the police bombed Philadelphia, so let's not act like <laughs> sir, this sir, is sir. past he's, us as a he's, country. Uh, <laughs> sir, sir, he's he's white, so he turned the other way and didn't notice. Uh, oh, <laughs> that never happened. Uh, that never happened. I'm, I'm sorry, Roy. <laughs> you were wait, wait, Roy, Roy, you were vacationing in Tulsa. <laughs> it didn't exist. It never happened. <laughs> it, it didn't exist. Never. No, I believe I, no, no, no. I say Roy it, Campbell's. Ra- were well, you saying Roy Campbell's racist? Because I'm with you on that. No, I say yeah, Troy, you were vacationing in Tulsa when that shit went down. <laughs> you was banging out Merrill's mom's cheeks. He's a Tulsa. Ta- was Roy, Roy Campbell is a Tulsa massacre denier. All right, I think yes, we can admit that. Oh, he's yes, from he Tulsa. Know <laughs> all about it. But when he get around his buddies, let me tell you something. It happened a hundred years ago. <laughs> Get over it. Get over it. All right. Black oh, lives oh, don't matter. Oh, oh well, well, look, black lives all matter. Lives what about white matter. people? All what about lives white people? matter. All right. All it should be all matter. lives if you want to do that. This is the irresponsibility of America. Meanwhile, it, it reminds me of that Kaepernick taking a knee. I, I <laughs> ride poking around a corner. 35 years. All no, lives, Meryl. Roy. Listen. No, look, look, all no, lives look, matter, look, Roy. Look, 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 look. No, you listen to me, Meryl. You listen to me. I saw people die in Zanzibar land. You know what, D, when you do that, it reminds me of that white guy in the uh, in the uh, the the Cleveland Indians makeup pointing at a Native American, telling them, "Now, see, sir, you shouldn't be offended about the Native American paint." I'm like, the audacity of this white. Oh my man. god! Hey, Chris, you want to oh know? What the, you want to know what the tripped out part would be? <clears throat> no, uh, can't bring her kids around. No, it, no, 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 no. No, the, the, the trip down part would be this. So, like, so, so, Colonel, what are your thoughts on January 6th? Should have never happened. That's the line. January 6th is the line. That, that is the most non answer answer ever. Like, shouldn't have happened. I'm How like, dare. So no, but at the same time, because he can, he can play in that. Second truck got a little bit too queer. How dare you? Oh now, Roy! <laughs> now. Oh now, Roy! That's a lot, Royce. Royce, that's his real name, Royce. Royce. <laughs> Royce. King. I mean, it kind of makes sense why he wasn't too broken up when Peter Stillman sacrificed himself. Hey, that's how I be. <laughs> yo, yo, Meryl's look. Hold on, Meryl's on uh, wedding. Everything was all nice. Motherfucker dropping, pulling that joke. You know, he was like, nigger. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets a pass because he's a, he assisted Ooh. Snake. Ooh. Actually, Ooh. Roy is so Roy is Ooh. so fucking. Ooh. Hold on, is... Sonny. Look, Sonny playing with that little that little foreign kid who's probably confused as hell of all of this. <laughs> meanwhile, I don't like me- that. <laughs> meanwhile, Vamp, who is a uh, non-binary, non-conforming. Um <laughs> I like how that bisexual uh, I don't need to uh, hear fucking backstory else. was just that came out of nowhere. Like, I'm like, first off, no, I just you know, thought you know, I, you know you fucked the general. Huh? Like, this, this thing. You know what I thought Vant was? I treated him like the fucking weird emo kid in high school. Like, oh, he's just a weirdo. All right. All right, oh, cool, he, cool, he, cool. He licks knives. All right, fine. I cool. just thought you know, he, look. I thought he was just, I honestly got to thought he was just another, uh, I thought he was just a vampire psychomanist. I got to be honest with you. I thought he, no, no, real talk, real talk. And I got to go all the way Shannon shop with this. He's just a guy. Yeah. yeah. On some real shit. Well, Vamp is just a guy. Well, well we find out in Metal Gear Solid. He ain't that great. 
Whoa, whoa, he's hold on. just a guy. Whoa, whoa. We find out he's just a guy because Metal Gear Solid 4 was all about, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Vamp had nano machines. That's how he was able to do that. Also, and, and, him, and, <laughs> also him and Rodden got a little, a little beef. Okay. Why? Because they know each other from Metal Gear 2. Still doesn't but explain why? anything. <laughs> but, but, but why? Because he killed Emma. Yeah, but. But D, 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 you want to know why they like, you know, you know why they're beefing? Cause why? Because of, of, of their common ground love for knives, right? Here's the, here's the, no, no, here's, no, no, Eric, no, no, please, Eric, no. please reason, be my. Hmm? The, the other reason why he feels some sort of way about him is because South African guilt. Hmm. Ah, yes, yes. Ah, yes. South yes, African South white, African. <laughs> South African white guilt. <laughs> hey, 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 Naomi, why you dying? Uh, what you feel about apartheid? How you did you feel about apartheid back then? Uh. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I think the I'm sad. still look, look, Hey, hey, Hadea Kojima, look at D. I know this is the rock, and we we we're gonna really dig into your shit in the next two the next two years doing the Metal Gear series. I gotta ask one question: How you gonna say? I don't know. I was found in Rhodesia. Maybe that's where I get my skin color from. And then when I see her in Metal Gear Four, it's a white lady. First off, um, a white lady with Asian <laughs> features. You know what? I, look, look, look. I get it. D, 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 D. Hideo loved putting girls in games that he wanted to fuck. It's cool. It's cool. D, it's D, cool. D, D, it's D, cool. D, it's cool. Here's the thing. Before we get back to the movie, I think, cool. I, I think all three of us can agree. Naomi was one of the, uh, <laughs> was it 37, 38% of white women that voted for Trump? So, you know, I think we can agree Do you? That. No, no. Don't do that to her. Don't do that to her. Don't do that to her. Okay. She, she's, She's she voted for Jill Stein. <laughs> and that's even and, worse. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold you got on. nothing. You just got swindled out of your money at that she's point. Justifying it. <laughs> Jill Stein was just <laughs> she's always telling her friends, oh. Jill Stein was supposed to give us nano machines. All right. But hold, but hold on, hold on, D. First of all, she had sex with uh, with Otacon and vowed to vote for Yunkin. <laughs> To be fair, Otakon Odic- o- o- was it's, a Bernie look, Sanders supporter. I think we can agree with that. Oh no, Otakon definitely, definitely Bernie. is. A, he's not. A, he's not. He's like me. He's like me and Eris. We're not Bernie. We we die hard Bernies like Bernie Bernie supporters, but like this, we're not Bernie Bros. Yeah, he ain't a Bernie no. bro, but he just chill, he, he just he sees a lot of good things. Chill, he, he bro. Just, that's it. I just want look 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 look. I got three kids, nigga. I just want the health care. Look, don't, don't. <laughs> it's like we got me and me and me and Snake. I got down. three fucking kids. <laughs> I want the health care and the and, the, and look. I want the health care and the student loans. All right, this is the main reason why these here. All the kind of Snake are the fucking parents to a fucking adopted kid. So it's like, hey, we need health care for Sunny. Snake right? don't vote. <laughs> snake don't vote, nigga. You know, Snake. Don't I don't vote. think he can vote since he's technically. <laughs> <a> <laughs> you ain't lied. <laughs> I'm ooh, saying technically ooh, snake is a ooh. weapon and not a person. Oh, watch this, watch this. Oh, watch this. You know what's so funny? Look, at the end of Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Ocelot dog, snake in the car, just driving back. Here's a his, his, his snake. You want to know what's so fucked up? I voted for that nigga. <laughs> yeah. Man, he was a good president, man. Yeah. I don't think we fucked up. Nah, we ain't fucked up. We ain't fucked up. Snake fucked up. Solidus was right. How was Solidus right? Solidus was right. Oh my god! I know we're diverting off here. Can you imagine? Can you, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I, look, 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 look. I I love Hideo Kojima for that, and I hate him at the same time because that's perfect. That is perfect. The dude you killed off was actually right. Can you imagine Solidus having a fucking Ooh. having to that's do a why fucking. That's why he was the perfect clone, D. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, he knew imagine? how to do it the right way. Can you imagine saw this having to all fuck of a sudden him? this wispy ass nigga that the that the army told him not to cut his hair. Can you imagine saw? Can you imagine saw this having to fucking run a campaign against Trump? That'd be fucking. I know saw this will fucking body. lose his goddamn mind. Body, 
I don't know, man. Can you imagine? Like, he look. Solis is looking at the numbers. Like, Solis, look, look, first of all, Solis is a Democrat. Let's get that out the way. He he's is. definitely a Democrat. Uh, hey, second of all, second he's, of all, he's Obama he with did, drones and nano machines. Come on now. He's Obama <laughs> that did what he couldn't. What Obama couldn't do. Bridge the gap in Congress. That's why all of them, look. That's why all of them at once voted that certain act to go in, and that's what solid. This is like the Patriots. The Patriots showed up again. It's all going down now. I knew it. I fucking knew it, gentlemen. <laughs> he's the only president that can walk around with dual katanas and a P ninety <laughs> machine gun. No, no, no. Also, sir. Oh, sir, no, Aris, sir, Aris, that's Aris. he's out the office. That's his out of office attire. All right, Eris, Eris. I'm uh, Eris. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As a fan, I'm sorry. I, no, no. I'm sorry. Do you really expect me to believe I'm going to catch this man outside of Ben's Chili Bowl rocking oh. that shit? Yes. Oh, he's definitely he definitely walking down fifth. He's he definitely walking down Independence with them with them all four tentacles out, nigga. <laughs> Come on now. When he's in the when he's in the White House, he has to wear the suit. You don't want to scare off everybody, you know. You Man, gotta, imagine that shit. Imagine that shit. You driving down Pennsylvania. You see the president roll by. And off, a, you see, look, imagine that. You walking down Pennsylvania, like you out Pennsylvania Avenue. All of a sudden, you see. Fucking Joe Biden in a bipedal suit. First off, Joe Biden reminds me of Batman. Running straight to Southeast. That's the funniest thing in the world, actually. Joe Biden right now reminds me of one. I'm not even going to say the Chris Evans from Endgame. That's, That's already been used. Fuck that. He reminds me. Joe Biden reminds me of Kingdom Come Batman with the fucking with the vibe with the suit, shut, the metal suit. Shut up! <laughs> shut up. Shut up. That's Joe Biden shut right up. now. Shut up! Now hold on, hold on. Now take that. Now, now take that image. Put in Lloyd Bridges from <laughs> Hot Shots. It's Joe Biden all the way. No, no, not Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe actually, Biden. Actually, all the way. I take it a step further. Get that one scene from Airplane where he's sniffing glue. <laughs> Joe Biden. Here, look, look. I don't bangs with Joe Biden. I'm going to vote for this nigga next. Oh, I'm definitely voting for him. Oh, yes, Joe, been gr- Joe been great. I don't give a fuck, y'all. Joe been that, actually Hey, that nigga, that nigga looked at the Republicans and was like, yeah, uh, so we're canceling student loans. These Go nuts. fuck yourself. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. These nuts. Right one, left one. All right? Get to it, young man. <laughs> Joe Biden would have looked at Sean Carter in his face and was like, you know, son, I like the cut of your jib. We're going to give you a pardon. Yeah, I like the cut of your jib. We were born in the same year, weren't we? I think so. Here's Joe, here's Joe Biden. Easy, motherfucker. <laughs> easy. Easy. All right, all right Scrooge but duck easy. So basically, <laughs> after Godspeed gets res- rescued by Mason, right? Mason, he basically <sighs> ba- basically, ma- Godspeed is like, all right, Mason, you know what? I'm going to let you disappear off, go back to your daughter. I'm just going to tell Womack that you did. Now, here's the thing. I like both of them give off code to each other. Just go to like go to my hotel, hotel room, room, this take the money. Room, take the money, there's $200 in there. I ain't seen you. $200,000. I didn't. He said two hundred dollars. I think he said two hundred dollars. Oh, two hundred. Yes, yeah, he said I have two hundred dollars up there. Two hundred dollars in nineteen ninety seven. That's about seven. That's about seven hundred dollars now. Yeah. So yeah, get the fuck out of here, nigga. Run. And then run, Mason run, run. Says, says, and then Mason turns around. And is like, yeah. So uh, that microfilm, it's in Texas, Corpus Christi. <laughs> It like, was Texas, yeah, yeah. He, I thought yeah, you said, I thought you said Kansas. It was, something. yeah, Kansas in like an old church. Yeah, basically. because when he got there, it was like thief, thief. Now here's the thing. Gospy tells Womack that a hey, uh, Mason's dead. Now Womack is like, I know he ain't fucking dead, but you know what? I'll let the nigga live. Fine, fuck it. What happened to him? It was vaporized. Vaporized. Rised. Here's me. Here's me. Here's me. Yes. People can't be fucking vaporized. You ever get exploded by one of the, month, like the <laughs> missiles that should have killed Nick Cage? Yes. And by the way, that, that will micro- vaporize you. By the way, that microfilm was that was in Kansas. Yeah, Kansas. Yeah, Kansas. Cold Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> God smoke. <laughs> now here's the thing. I Look like how the rock. I like how a little dick. <laughs> I like how Gosby was like, honey, you won't believe who killed JFK. <laughs> Credits. Again, Metal Gear. 
Like, wait. Again, again, 90s white guy <laughs> problems. I know who killed JF- JFK. Is it going to change anything? Is it? No. Really? Will it really change anything? <laughs> you know, this is another, uh, <clears throat> this was another uh, William Forsythe movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, William Saw Forsyth. We got it. <laughs> they, they're mistaken because William Saw Forsyth. Here's here's a funny tidbit. Um, because William Forsyth just looks like a regular old white dude, right? Yeah, he apparently looks like a regular guy. Some somebody on the set mistook him for some rando person, and they, they were about to call security on his ass until somebody was like, "Hold on, oh, 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 he works on the set." And William Forsyth was just turned around, continued eating his hot dog, and was like, eh, "Whatever." Like, <laughs> My man went back to the glizzy. <laughs> yeah, went back to the glizzy. Like, what the fuck, like. <laughs> Hey, hey, whatever. I'm going to be in blue streak in a couple years. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Has William Forsyth and Nick and Nick Nolte been in a movie together? I wouldn't know. I would not know. To be That's honest two personalities you. that I need to see. Like, God, I don't William. think it would clash in there the way you want to, though. So that, like, I don't William think. Forsyth. Pro- Wait, I'm actually about to look that up. William. Well, Forsyth. William Forsyth and uh, our boy with the teeth. Uh, 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 oh, Busey. oh, uh, yeah, Busey. Busey. Have yeah. both of them be in the movie together. That's that's I just like the fact that we have went through several movies with foresight and we see the the rings of one. We have seen in this movie, we've seen cops foresight. We have seen mobs or uh uh foresight yeah. that got his ass whizzed by, by by action Trump, and we also saw biker. <laughs> Biker version of him. That's another. That, that's another guy that has a- Stone Cold. Stone Cold. Another podcast. Everybody, Stone Cold. Listen to that. Was a classic. Now, now, while, while 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 Sue was looking this up, uh, ninety six. Man, look. Um, The Rock took out Mission Impossible coming on its second on the second weekend. That's crazy. And Mission Impossible was already it. Mission Impossible opening weekend cleaned up already. And they, and Mission Impossible at that time was getting so much. You know, I mean, man, they was they, they, everybody loved it, man. Now, I mean, it's kind of funny. The first Mission Impossible movie to me is I weak. love it. It's weak to me, but I probably would like it now. You know, I haven't seen it in years. To be here's honest. the here's another movie that came out in '96 that was big, Twister. Yep. Yeah. Oh, uh, we did that. Uh, we did that movie too. Listen, uh, listen. Uh, Twister is uh, uh, one of our best ones. Twister's number three. Number four. Another Sean Connery was kicking up in the box office. Dragonheart. Where he yeah. voiced Dragon. Yeah, this was that little. Uh, I am the part. last one. <laughs> yes, uh, that is still my Dragon, line. That, that's one of my Dragon Heart line. is so regular, but there's a legion of fans for that movie, man. Um, number coming in <laughs> at number five, Eddie. Actually, a pretty, pretty decent little, you know, Whoop- Whoopi Goldberg comedy movie. Yeah, that Not basketball bad. movie. Yeah. Um, opening weekend that came out the same time as The Rock. Is a movie that's near and dear to my heart that came in at number six opening weekend, unfortunately. Uh, The Phantom. Oh. The Phantom got his ass kicked. It made five Billy's million dollars. And like you going up against The Rock, Twister, and Mission Impossible, you are not gonna win that shit. That's it. That's it. That five million dollars is probably gonna be your max because whoo. Yeah, it probably that, kicked he, up on the home eight. video, but box it office. Didn't, <laughs> no, actually, I don't think the, I, well, these I two think never been. barely broke I think it barely broke even. Yeah, but 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 only reason why I, I, I believe it didn't is because they did have a lot of advertisement for that movie. Yeah, these two, yeah. okay, well, these, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, two, these two have never been in the movie together. Who was the other one? We said Foresight and who else? Busey. No, that, no, that's why I said never been in the movie together. Oh, Nick Nolte. Nolte, thank you. Yeah, uh, number six, Spy Hard, which is actually a low key funny movie. It's low key funny. Um, yeah. that's that's the, the Leslie Nielsen uh movie. Uh, number eight was the arrival. That was the Charlie Sheen movie about the aliens and yeah, that warming and all that. Global, yeah. the, the aliens, ah. apparently, the, the, apparently, the aliens and the arrival clause global warming. Okay, um, number nine, flipper. What happened, Chris? Hold on, hold on. What eras? Nineteen eighty-seven. Nick Nolte, William Forsythe, and Michael Ironside and Clancy Brown. Extreme prejudice. What? I love the excitement coming off of Chris because he's like each Whoa. name he <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Michael Ironside. Whoa. Michael Whoa. Ironside and Clancy Brown. Whoa. And Clancy Brown. 
all four of them in the movie Extreme Prejudice. Mm. What is this movie? I never heard of this flip. You never heard of Extreme Power, Prejudice? Powers Booth was in this shit? I, yeah. What the hell? Rip Torn? What? Wow. Walter Hill. Wow. Walter Hill did that? 70% on, on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got a pretty decent score. What the fuck is this about? Extreme Prejudice. What, what year did a te- it a Texas 87. Ranger. A Texas Ranger in a ruthless narcotics kingpin. They were childhood friends, and now they are adversaries. Nick Nolte. <laughs> Nick Nolte. Powers Booth. Extreme Prejudice. This sounds like a movie that three black geeks need to do. Oh, I gotta watch. I gotta. Um, Power Chris, Booth. why did you say? Why did you say that combination? Because now I'm sitting here because like I remember. Because I remember I, seeing I, when we did Tombstone. I said, you know what sucks? We are never going to do any Powers Booth movies because Powers Booth is a great <laughs> actor. We're never going to fucking do. Wait, D. You know another reason why I want us to do this movie? Mm-hmm. It takes a lot of its cues from one of my personal favorite movies from the '60s, The Wild what? Bunch. Oh, so it's one of those it, this movies. movie pays homage to the Wild it's Bunch. One of these movies. Oh yes, both filmed in in a massive gunfight at the Mexican border. We need to do oh, this movie. Oh, 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 tie in list Zeus. Zeus is in this movie too. Oh my God, Zeus Lester. Bruh. Oh, 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 Marco Rodriguez, Mickey Jones. Yep. Whew. Yeah, we gotta Force do this. Man, man. Yep. I tell you, Bruh. Listen. Listen, Mar- listen. Maria Conchita Alonso. Ooh, yep. Listen, I told you. Mickey y'all. Jones. Yeah, Mickey Jones, the fat white guy that's always in everything. Yeah. Listen, I told y'all. When I <laughs> when I do my digging, nigga, I do my digging. Dude, I mean, like, just... I, like I'm saying, have we have we kicked up and have we kicked up on a another tr- another trespass where it's like, y'all, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Now, here's the thing. Let me finish this out. So, number nine, Flipper. Yeah. Yes, they did a movie with Flipper featuring Crocodile Ooh. Dundee. Oh, D, and, did, and, D and, thought and, that was trash, and I still think it's trash. Still, it's it, a it terrible is. movie. It's, it's, it's terrible. a terrible movie. I'd rather watch I'd rather watch Free Willy than watch Flipper. Free Willy isn't actually not that bad to but me. I was going to say, I'd rather watch Free Willy because Flipper took – to me, Flipper – yes, it's based off of a franchise. Yes, Flipper was a franchise. But they try to do the movie and update it, and it's like you put Crocodile Dundee with Frodo, <laughs> like yeah, like yeah, you know. And it's like sure, but this was but this was during that time where they was really trying to get kids onto that shit and because Free Willy was such all a air, air Bud and all that shit too. Yeah, yeah, it was one of those things, and plus also you know sometimes oh, tv shows oh, have a weird way of making a movie lassie being one of them because they did lassie like multiple times over but that's because a lot of people that were raised in the 50s was like we gotta have a movie for this you know like kids our age that say you know we gotta have a movie for this the all three all three of us grew up on benji and, I benji, is still, and benji is still fuck going. that dog fuck that dog i know it's still going i'm first, first, first all, still going benji kicked the shit out of a bear fuck you sir First off, first off, first off, first off, first off, I ain't got Benji fighting no dog, no pit bull, no rot. Get the fuck out of my face, man. <laughs> first off, you're condoning dog fighting. We don't condone dog yes, fighting. Yes, I am. I'm condoning I am. I'm, I'm Michael Vick in this, man. Benji no, Benji ain't seen no hands. I feel we, got no, I feel, Benji ain't got no hands. I feel we Benji gonna, ain't got no hands, dog. I feel if we put that to the test, it's like, Oh shit, bitch, you got hands. God damn. Like, oh. Here's me. Here's me. Here's me. That's air bud, though, man. Like, oh, that's, a, that's a lab. That's a lab, man. That's a lab is a white person of the dogs, man. They're like, that's white people dogs, man. Like, no, oh, man. Shit, that nigga ain't tough. Like, that nigga ain't tough. I'm like, oh shit. I want to like, first, like, first of all, I'm like, oh shit, these niggas boxing. <laughs> no, nah, put the no, nah, put a put bill. No, nah, see it with a pit bull. See it with a pit bull. Nah, nah. <laughs> you know, do that one the first the, do, do one the first fight, bitch. Nah, we proved our point though. <laughs> oh, they like me, where it's like, I don't do rematches. Sorry. No, no, right there, right there. No, no, you know why it's like this. He gonna get fucked up by a pit. That, pit, that pit bull like sit like this, just sit like that, just be like, yeah, oh. come down here. <laughs> and rounding out, T 
10. <laughs> the truth about cat and dogs, you know, the rom coms of the nine. The rom coms. Oh, God. Thank you for that, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Phoebe Cates. Well, not was it? No, no. The chick from Friends. Um, um, uh, Jeff Aston, right? No, 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 goop, that wasn't goop, no goop chick. Um, uh, 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 uh pepper goop pot chick. Goop chick. <laughs> I can't keep calling the goop chick. What if Paltrow? Yeah, the Paltrow. Yeah, 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 goop chick. Goop chick. <laughs> goop chick. No, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't her. It was uh, Uma Thurman and Janine Garofalo. That's what it was. I get it mixed up. My bad. You know what? Here's the funny thing Janine Garofalo, if she existed in the <laughs> if she existed in the two thousand, if she existed now, oh my gosh, she will be, she will be the, she will be Lena Dunham done right, but she'll still be annoying. <laughs> Jane Garofalo, you know what? Here's here's the difference. Jane Garofalo was actually funny. You know what? what I, I I am not saying was she, but it's like I don't remember a thing you did. No, <laughs> you made you, all the you made all these middle of the road independent white movies, and I know they're like very funny and like shit like it's like Woody Allen to me, like a Woody Allen movie. Like I hear people like it. You know what? I, you know, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, we might as well get this out of three BG here because people might ask us, "Do y'all watch a Woody Allen movie?" I've seen one. Fuck Woody, no. I've seen one Woody Allen movie. Curse of the Jade Scorpion. And you know what I thought I of the film? You know what I thought of that film? What was the movie? What was the movie where Christopher Walken was in? I forgot the name of that one, man. White white people, white people. I don't shut, shut up, shut up, Chris. Shut up. Shut up. That's all. Yeah, shut up. I'm just shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying, like that, that's that's a Woody Allen movie. It's white people. White I would people. love to see, I would love to see the back cover of that. Just, no, the back cover is, is all shots that are not even in the movie. <laughs> Just random white people doing mundane things. I'm sorry, that's not like a, I, I really feel the protagonist like, and, the, and the antagonist every, photo op. Every time, like this is why I look at black folks like you should not be mad that Woody Allen doesn't want that doesn't have black people in his movies. You don't want a black person in his movie. I never understood this idea. Like, like outside Marlon of Williams in Requiem for a Dream. You know, I always yeah. stood it. I always had this idea of like, if you want to do a will, if you want to do a Woody Allen movie, you want to be in a, you want to do a like, like, like you want to be in a certain circle of Hollywood elite. Artsy, you artsy. know what I mean? That's what it is. Yeah, you want to be in a certain elite. Those, those so you know, whatever. It's literally with just white people, white people, and that's all. That shit. I know. I know. Man. It's, just, it's, it's you know, and and I'm glad that we probably won't have a black version of that. I, I don't want that. <laughs> I, look, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. Black people, I see y'all trying. What are you talking about? We're making a lot of boring movies. I noticed that. You know, so, you know, stop. And you, have to try, and you have to try real hard to make black people boring. That's the crazy part about it. Man, it takes effort to make us non-entertaining. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it takes real effort to make dreams to make good shit non entertaining You, you got to try hard. Like, you, man, Man, but uh, um, yeah, The Rock. I, it, it's like I said, I love how Michael Bay influenced a lot. I'm just gonna say, it, I feel Michael Bay influenced a lot of modern video action video games. Yeah, he did. I, I, I really feel he did. And I feel once the, I feel once the video games start getting to, I will say, starting at the PS3 going up to today, I feel that like video game producers were able to finally match that crazy spectacle of Michael Bay movies and the action and all that shit. And that's, mm-hmm. that, like I said, that's why I like the Call of Duty games and even Battlefield. Cause they just like, all right, you like action, give it to them, blow some shit up. This, and, and look, look at all the trailers for the fucking, those video games. They came off like Michael Bay cut movie trailers. Yeah. With, all with him, like with him and them till I collapse slapped on it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was thinking of that too. I ain't gonna lie. Till I collapse, did slap with them Call of Duty fucking things. I, ain't I will I'll say be- this. Here's the funny thing about I Till I Collapse. Well, the first time I heard Till I Collapse, I loved the song. And until about the end of the year, that's when it was like, okay, I'm done with it, right? So I put that song down since then because it really didn't hype me up after that. Here come Call of Duty. Doom, doom. I thought that shit was cool as fuck. And then it hit me. I don't like that song. Because <laughs> it's just it's just the beginning. It's like doom 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 doom. Of course. Doom, doom. It's like oh shit. 
Did I collapse? I think of that. You just see a. <laughs> and bear in mind, I'm like, I'm kind of like, okay. I think the first actually, you know what? Son, no, actually, what did it for me in that whole the whole commercial when Nate Dog came on when the girl up, I'm like, the lights go out. Oh, <laughs> Indeed, oh did my you, god! Did, did you pull you your shirt see? up and just be like, oh yes, because it, you still see it guns going off and all that. I'm like, Activision, f you! I want this game. <laughs> oh, I want this game. The, yeah, I was one of the, I bought it. Oh, I was a sucker. Yes. Can you, imagine, can you imagine if somebody spliced till I collapsed to the rock trailer to see if it matches? I'm surprised nobody hadn't done that yet. Actually, I, guarantee, I guarantee you someone's done it. God, <laughs> man. Somebody handed it. I need to get this movie on Blu-ray, actually. If it's on 4K, I need to get that shit because it, 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 yeah, yeah, I, man. <laughs> Man, yeah, folks. All I'm saying is this: if you get a chance to watch The Rock, if you've never seen it, you will enjoy it. It is action, and as for as long as it is, it feels like it goes by. I'm not gonna say quick, but it doesn't feel like it's long. Yeah. I know you said. I know UD said it was a couple times where it. Felt no, like I, it I, I felt like I'll be honest with you. I fell asleep because I I hate like it. Michael Bay movies do this to me all the time, where. When it be action, 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 and when the fucking talking come in, I go the pregnant pause. <laughs> oh, good example. It's the, it's the pregnant pause. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like good example. Good example. Uh, Bad Boys too. I was with it. I was with it. And then we sat there, and it was, and then he sat in the office. You two did this, this, this. Here's me. <laughs> I mean, I literally fall. I, I never understand it. I don't know how I stayed awake in Transformers when we went, Chris. I don't because I always especially last night, like a movie. especially last night. I was like, Oh, I, I can't I, believe I, I stayed awake last night. <laughs> oh, but you fell asleep. Yeah, you fell asleep. Yeah, I didn't know what it is. I fell asleep before they did before the third act. I fell asleep. Yes, you did. I was like, Wake <laughs> up. You're like, I'm like, wake the fuck up. I ain't watching this shit by myself. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Fuck you, you know, Chris. You trying no, to get out of it. No, 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 no. You know, I'm mad because I haven't seen I haven't I haven't witnessed that in a while of whenever Chris and I go to screenings and I'm the one catching Chris falling asleep. Oh, uh, I caught Chris falling asleep by Blade. I haven't Runner. caught that in a while. Oh, I'll, I'll say that. It was, it was in the middle of the Runner. day. It was in the yeah. middle of the day. It was, I know. I was Blade like, Runner oh. was in the middle of the day. You fell asleep on Blade Runner, you fell asleep on um uh, Ooh, what other movie was? I forgot what other movie was. You, <laughs> Dude, I, it was it's a like, long day. And I was, we hated that shit. We didn't even like the movie. Funny. I forgot what movie it was. It's so funny because, because like when it, I remember catching Chris fall asleep, bro. It was like it was like his neck just lost negative ninety percent strength. And the thing of it is, we and Blade is Runner, rough. Blade Runner, they had to make they had the nerve. To have that in Georgetown with these nice plush seats. This is what I see, Chris. I mean, mouth all the way open. Dude, here's the sick part. I fell asleep, right? So in my head, I thought I missed a lot. When I went back to watch the movie, I was like, so I fell asleep for like 10 minutes and I missed some key moments, apparently. <laughs> like, oh, I damn. thought you didn't miss nothing. I thought you didn't miss the damn thing. Anymore. I thought, no, nah, but, but like I said, with, but like I said, with this, definitely watch it. Um, yes, it is on Blu ray. Holy shit, it is on Blu ray. All right. You used to show this on TNT all the time back in the day. That's all I can yeah, say. TNT, well, they, they milked this shit for three hours on TNT. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, okay. they did, bro. I am, I'm very disappointed. These two have never been in the movie together, but I am seeing page after page after page after page of everybody saying, hey, does Nick Nolte and Gary Busey, are they brothers? Anyway. (laughs) That's serious. Guys, what's the next movie? (laughs) Next week will be our Halloween special, and we don't have a Halloween movie set up. (laughs) Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Chris. Chris, 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 what's in the box? What's in the box, Chris? What's in the box, man? What's in the box? Oh, we doing seven? All right. I, hey, look. Morgan Freeman. Here's the sick part. I think that's going to be our most serious, but still funny at times. Oh, we're going to make that funny. Because because oh, it's going to make it funny. Seven. Oh, because one thing Three Black Geeks do really well is that when it's a bad movie, oh, we have fun. Actually, I got a good question, guys. What would you rather do? Would you rather do Seven or would you rather do Fantasy Island? 
one, like I said, Seven's a good movie that we have to be, oh, criticism, jokes. Fantasy Island is us doing the Yamazaki, grabbing it, drinking it. Well, we're going like well, 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 well. We're going to he- like we're going to hell either way. So, Sue, have you seen Fantasy Island, the Bloomhouse one? The Bloomhouse, I did. I need okay. to see it. I-, I need to see it again, and that's why I said we're going to hell either way. And you know what? Let's do that. Fantasy next movie we'll going to hell. That's the next episode. Fantasy Island featuring Michael Pena. Fantasy Island. I remember telling everybody, "Hear me, hear me!" <laughs> it's just a two point. <laughs> ass the fuck out of here y'all let me tell you something when three black geeks say the worst movie of the year chris didn't even need to tell me chris was like so d uh did you got your no it's three black geeks i don't care what era says this is worse or yours the worst movie this year is the fantasy this is six part folks this is six part folks d by virtue of seeing the bootleg talked me out of going to the screener for fantasy island I want people to understand this. I was, leg of that. I was about to step foot and drive to Bethesda at the time to go to a screener for this. And D was like, do not go see this movie. Do I was like, nah. I stopped Chris. It is like, don't see that. Well, I just seen it. How'd you do that? Like, like, look, 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 look. No. <laughs> no. It's a bad movie. It's bad. We're going to have fun. Oh, we're gonna have fun because it's so <laughs> bad. Because because when it gets to the second half of the movie, it becomes a it, not the movie becomes non-functioning. But it's like you it know what? M. Night movie. How did you fuck that up? It turns into how did M. Night you movie. fuck up walking? That's how it, that's what it turns up to. It turned into a bad M. Night movie. Mm-hmm. It had a good premise, and then it's just like, oh, M. Night it is. That shit going for it. That shit going for it <laughs> to that second half. Oh man, yeah, this is the first half, nigga. Anyway, <laughs> so that is that is the rock this week. This was fun. This, this was so fun. Was fun. We was a little bit late this week, y'all, but it's all good, man. Uh, we get so, back to the group of things. You know? We get back to it. Yeah, we get back to it. Anyway, uh, this is it. All right, peace. All right. Yeah, peace, peace. <laughs> the rock. We're all going to the rock. <laughs>